tried uh, to come up with a way of connecting the DC hospitals with the consultants at uh, Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital. So WhatsApp uh, group was the idea that we came up with. I think it's being very effective at that because it's kind of instant consultations. People with questions are getting feedback from a specialist almost immediately. We post even the pictures and the consultants do see the pictures and they can advise to say, well, proceed to this side so that you are able to reach uh, the problem. You give feedback immediately, you say, you know, deal with it there, do this, do that, or, you know, do these investigations and call us or send the patient up, or sometimes don't send the patient up. We find it very useful because we notify them in advance um, so that they should get prepared. You need to discuss the cases even before you refer them. They say, oh, well, Mr. Malunga, before you refer the patient, do A, B, C, D, E, because this patient has to arrive in Queens while it's in a safe condition. It's pretty helpful in terms of giving them advice. For example, if it's something that they can do at the district hospital, at least you'll be able to give them advice on what they need to do for the patient before they refer or at least as they refer. When we send the patients, we get even feedback right away on the WhatsApp, WhatsApp forum. I love the feedback and even in the teaching itself because you know medicine is dynamic each and every day you need to learn. We have got 10 DC hospitals and uh, in terms of membership uh, individuals we have got uh, 100 individuals almost 100 individuals in the group. They have access to about uh, 14 consultants. The good thing about the, the, the WhatsApp group is that once they post a case on the, on the group one two or more consultants will contribute on the case which creates that um, access to many consultants at once. We're not reaching only to one person, so you reach out to quite a number of clinicians. So as much as I may advise one person to prepare a patient in a certain way, on a specific patient, I'm sure somebody else is also learning from the same group. The best thing is that uh, not only that we are given feedback, but also we are learning. There was quite a big gap between us and them. But now the WhatsApp group, basically, we've come like a family. We are, we can interact, we can communicate, and they're not afraid to ask for medical opinions, surgical opinions. It's a no-cost thing. It just takes people's time. There's no money invested in it, so there's no reason for it not to continue. Through Sage Africa, these are happening, and that's what the uh, Minister of Health um, supposed to do anyway and the central hospital is supposed to do and South Africa is just helping coming in in the right direction at the right time.